Guys, today we shall be unboxing and reviewing the all-new SanDisk Dual Drive Go. And as the name suggests, there is some dual functionality in this particular pen drive. So let's talk about it. Now I have two of these pen drives. One is a 64 gig variant, other is a 128 GB variant. And I've been using these pen drives over the years. So I'll be able to share what are some, you know, practical pros and cons with respect to this particular pen drive. So make sure you watch this video entirely. Coming to the first part that is unboxing and honestly there is nothing much to unbox. The pen drive simply comes in a blister packaging. There are two ports. One side is type A, the other side is type C which works with mobiles or tablets and it comes with a nifty little twist mechanism. So you can, so it does not matter which kind of port your host device has, this pen drive is going to be compatible with almost all of them. Uh, let's talk about the speed test and as you can see uh, SanDisk advertises a speed of around 150 Mbps but as you can see on the display the read speed I get is very good it is 100 to 120 Mbps but the write speed leaves a lot to desire because the write speed is only 30 Mbps. So if you have been planning to make large backups I think you won't be satisfied with this pen drive in that case it is better to go with hard drives I am using two of these so one is a Seagate One Touch, and this is WD5TB. Again, links for these things and their long term reviews are available in the description. But if you want to move small files here and there, then yes, this pen drive could be a viable option. Now, there is a saving grace, or you can say there is a benefit of doubt that I'd like to give to SanDisk because when I ran these benchmarks, the pen drive was roughly half built. Okay. So maybe if the pen drive is brand new, it is absolutely blank, then you might get the claimed, you know, 150 Mbps speeds on this particular pen drive. But I mean, who actually buys pen drives and keeps them blank? So here is the practical read and write speed as I have explained you in this particular video. Let's talk about the pros and cons coming to the pros. This uh, pen drive comes with very sleek looks, nifty little mechanism. There's the convenience of dual ports, no need to lug around any kind of dongles or the adapters or any conversion cables. This thing is just as easy to use, simply like that. Coming to the cons, I found that this pen drive does heat up a little bit. And I believe a lot of pen drives do heat up these days because the data densities have gone up. And I did not notice any kind of performance degradation after heating up. So I think it is just okay. The second con here would be build quality. Now this thing is made up of entirely of plastic and especially this USB type A and this thing which is plastic may break off. So if you have a lot of traveling or rough use then you may want to go for its elder brother that is the Lux model and the Lux model is completely made up of metal. So not only that is better from the heat sinking perspective but it is also going to stand up nicely to all the kinds of wear and tear. So again buying links for both of these things in the description go with the metal uh, if you want more rough end of use or go with the plastic one if you want to save a few bucks. Let's come to the conclusion who should buy this pen drive. Okay so if you want a nifty little pen drive so for moving around small files here and there you know if you want something which is portable you don't want to lug a large hard drive around then this thing is absolutely fine it's going to serve you well plus the convenience of having no dongles and converters for type c or type a devices is added bonus so that's it for this neat little video guys i hope you liked this one take care and have a nice day